During the Chess Olympia, there's also a photo exhibition, a very important photo exhibition. Nastya, can you tell us more about it? Yeah, okay. The organizers made an effort actually and they uh, decided to make a photo exhibition and they invited many chess photographers to take part on it and we are very happy about this opportunity. So at the moment we have a few exhibitions here and uh, let's say now everybody can know this chess journalist who are taking photos uh, all around the world. Um, I'm very happy that I'm the one of them. <laughs> so, so my photos are also here. I decided to make an exhibition about, uh, let's say, uh, people who are playing in different corners of this world and uh, people of different ages, nationalities, so you can see it. <laughs> Which ones are your favorite? Can you show us some of your photos that are very special to you? I mean, it's difficult, of course, to choose one and um, I mean, okay, I can pick up uh, the photos from Botswana, for example, there are a few of them here. I was sent there uh, by Women's Commission to promote women's chess and um, I was happy to take uh, such uh, photos uh, like this one, for example, to girls playing chess and okay, there were a few others, uh, maybe this this one as well and uh, there were also trip to there was also trip to mexico so you can see also street chess here and in the street chess in qatar as well and uh, it's nice also for me i mean it's just uh, inspiring the fact that uh, people in the different corners of the world can play chess and sometimes you don't expect to see them just you go with your camera and at one point you see people playing chess in the streets and really somehow you feel connected you know that we do the same thing and so that's great, absolutely. And um, I can say that here in the, this exhibition we have also other famous photograph, chess photographers. For example, there is an exhibition of Maria Emilianova and uh, we can see, let's say, her photos of a very famous chess player who is unfortunately is not with us here in this Olympiad, uh, Boris Gelfand. And uh, I think it's one of the favorite photos of uh, all visitors of Olympiad, uh, Boris Gelfand, after, uh, during the press conference. He's a very emotional player and uh, we, all of us, we really appreciate this fact and uh, his photos are always the best <laughs> if we're talking about top players. When you take pictures of players because uh, I see that uh, street photography and uh, you shot many different countries many different places uh, and how is it different when it, you are in a playing hall and you try to find these emotions is it very difficult to take pictures of chess players playing chess in a serious tournament? Yeah, of course, and uh, the most important thing is uh, that uh, we should find some balance uh, uh, between uh, journalists and the players. It's all the time, it's not easy to find it because at the same time we don't want to disturb players and we, you know <laughs> very well by yourself also that uh, you can really interrupt in the moment when it's better not to do so. And But, but unfortunately the best moments normally come uh, when people are in time trouble. But at this moment we should, we should be very polite. Uh, we are happy that uh, now equipment is getting better and better and we could see David Lada with such a great uh, big lens so okay I mean uh, we are trying to do our best to catch these emotions normally and but it depends <laughs> There was also a very important photo for me. Uh, it was taken during the World School Championship in Turkey. And uh, there are two girls from Sri Lanka on this photo. And one of them, uh, she came to support another one, her teammate. And um, I mean, when I saw this uh, really gentle moment, I mean, I was so much, uh, um, how to say, I was really surprised to see it. And my hands were trembling and shaking. And I was afraid so much not to make it sharp or spoil it. It. but uh, very fortunately I managed to do this photo and uh, really it's uh, one of the most special photo for me in uh, I, I can say so <laughs> I really love this picture it's such a special moment and you captured it yeah thank you so much and uh, actually then we learned uh, about these girls and uh, that they were actually uh, from the same school and uh, the small one is just uh, seven years old those photos are from uh, the Radzikowska Memorial, which uh, took place in Wrocław, in Poland. Um, all of those photos are made by uh, Mr. Wiesław Jurewicz, a professional photographer from um, Wrocław. And this uh, tournament is uh, very, very famous uh, in Poland because um, Ms. Radzikowska uh, used to be a very, very strong Polish, uh, Polish player, um, participant of many Olympiads. And um, every year we, um, we are organizing this uh, tournament uh, and a lot of uh, very, very strong uh, women uh, players are participating in it. This was the first time they had the idea of making a photo shoot for the players. 
uh, actually they are making um, it was the, the fir fir uh, idea for the first time that they made this photo shoot but I believe they uh, made also uh, some cartoons in the, another uh, another year so um, they have a lot of uh, ideas every year different idea for the for the players so it's not just a chess tournament but they have a lot of idea of promotion. I chose pictures of children because I thought that nobody would uh, choose children also, but I was in mistake because now I see that many people took children also. At, but actually, I like to take pictures of children most because they try to look authentic. They are not trying to pose, they are natural, that's why I like it. Mostly I like when children don't see when I take pictures of them because now uh, when they're not seeing me, they're full of emotions, full of struggle during the chess. Uh, at the chessboard. Which ones are your favorite photos? Can you explain some of your pictures to us? Uh, actually, I like all the pictures I have chosen because uh, I have many pictures and I chose only them. Uh, I like pictures with Boris Spassky from the International Chess Day in Moscow because he was sitting with children, he was talking to them, he was uh, giving some examples of his life, some stories, and it was very funny. They were listening to him with attention and I liked it very much. What about those huge photos I've seen on the wall? Actually, it's a great honor for me and I'm very proud that the organizers uh, chose these photos of mine because they were asking me to send some pictures and I did, but then I saw them in reality. It was... I, I was very glad. So thank you, organizers. <laughs> Is it the first time that you see your photos in this size, this large? Yes, sure, it's the first time. Do you think it's a good idea to have a photo exhibition at the Chess Olympiads? Shall it be a tradition of the Chess Olympiad? Yes, actually the idea is really great because it shows that chess is not only the openings, the end games, and it's also a whole life and people from very young children to the old ones to the elderly peop people, they are all like chess and they are all involved in it and it shows that chess is very important in our lives.